So my wife Margot saw the video I made about the colors of the dress yesterday and she thought I could have been a little clearer, so I'm going to try again. Okay, remember, the colors of the objects that we see in our mind's eye are affected by the colors of ambient light we think those objects are in. So as we move this diamond from what seems to be a yellow light into what seems to be a blue light, we actually see different colors, even though the diamond has not actually changed color. It's the same color all the way through. This helps us account for or deal with changes in ambient light color and keep things the same color as we move around. Now, my eye sees this color on the screen, this set of colors on the screen. If my brain assumes that the dress is being illuminated by a dim blue bulb, I think, oh, it must have been much brighter and yellower for it to come out looking like that in that color light. Now, Margot's eye sees that same image, the same image, but her brain makes the assumption it's a bright yellow light illuminating the dress. So it must have been a much bluer and darker dress in order to end up looking like that. Now, it may be that there are some differences in our eyes and not just in the way our brains are processing things. We have cones in our eyes. These are the retinal cells that are responsible for seeing color. And different people have different densities of blue cones. And it may be that that interacts with our thinking in interesting ways. But it's all about eyes and brains.